Because empathy is so important to a great interview, let's ask the most challenging version of empathy, which is when you're sitting across from a man on the brink of war that uh, that leads to tens of millions of deaths, which is Hitler. So if you could interview Hitler in 1939, yeah. as the drums of war start to beat, or 1941, when they're already full on war, but there's still a lot of pacifists, there's still a lot of people yeah. unsure what are the motivations behind um, what Hitler's doing. How would you do that interview? Well, it depends when you do it. If you do it in 38, uh, not, I certainly would have, uh, no, you have to, uh, if you sit down across from Hitler, you empathize. What is your beef? <laughs> what do you, what do you, where have you been? What is your consciousness? Uh, why do you hate uh, Jewish people? Why, why, uh, uh, what is, you know, all these questions that come up, uh, the, his sense of grievance as a result of World War One. There's justifications there, et cetera. But if I, and by the way, Churchill was trying to make a deal with him in 38. That's a fact that people don't know. It's Churchill himself. And, you know, there was still the desire in England to make peace with Germany. Uh, and it was seen as a possible, what, hit, what Churchill really wanted was Hitler to go against Russia and he, 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 anything to destroy the Bolsheviks. So he was using Hitler as much as he could to go after Russia. And he, but uh, Hitler was too elusive to get to pin him down. But if you remember, Hitler was very kind at the end of kind is not the right word, was did not go after the British Empire when he had France, and he could have. He had uh, another objective, which was obviously the East. So uh, Hitler's goal, I think, w he always had an admiration for England. It's an interesting story, mm -hmm. always. And uh, the the empire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and certainly Churchill, we have no doubts now from history, revisionism, that Churchill's interest, main interest, was not Germany. It was the British Empire. Yes. And to preserve it to India, the road to India and all that, and... Middle East, uh, Churchill fought the entire uh, war with the concept of preserving the British Empire. All his goals, he sent America on a goose chase into Italy, <laughs> you could argue, instead of establishing a sincere second front in Western Europe. Uh, interesting, man. Uh, so I would have tried to get, you know, I think I would approach it the same way. In 1939, it would have been a different story because at that point, He'd attacked Poland and uh, in 1940 France, so there was, it's another ball game. But certainly, if whatever at whatever point you talk to him, you I would try to understand still, his point. So I would I'm not judging you, Hitler. I'm saying to you, tell me what you're thinking. Why are you invading Russia? What's your thought? That's all an interviewer should do. He shouldn't be expressing his contempt for Hitler, which is like an American journalist interviewing Putin. It's I'm getting brownie points for for expressing my contempt yeah. for you. That. That does I don't that doesn't wash with me. That's ugly. Uh, 